an infinitely long thin wire having a uniform charge density per unit length so per unit length so therefore this is lambda is passing through a spherical cell of radius 1 meter so this is the spherical shell okay a 10 nano coulomb charge is distributed uniformly over the spherical shell if the configuration of the charge remains static the magnitude of the potential difference between points p and r in volt is given by so this will be done by the principle of superposition so what we do is we first take this infinite charged wire as a um, you know like what is the electric field due to it and so on and then we replace it by the sphere and then again we calculate okay so let us do this so for an infinite wire for an infinite wire the electric field is going to be lambda by 2 pi epsilon dot r so um, now the potential okay or for that matter the change in potential is given by this formula okay because dv equals minus e dot dr so therefore this so therefore we write it that the change in potential that is the potential at r minus potential at p is going to be now the electric field is in this direction and we are moving also in this direction so therefore it's going to be uh, lambda uh, by 2 pi epsilon naught into r into dr this will be with a minus sign and it is going to be from 0 0.5 to 2 so this becomes minus lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught into ln r which varies from 0 0.5 to 2 so now this is minus by minus lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught into ln of 2 minus 0 0.5 so 2 is divided by 0 0.5 so this is ln of 4 so therefore the difference in potential due to the infinitely long thin wire is so we have lambda which is 5 newton coulomb per meter sorry nano nano coulomb so 5 into 10 to the power minus 9 and of course 1 by 2 pi epsilon naught is equal to so into 2 into 9 into 10 to the power 9 into ln 4 now ln 2 is given as 0 0.7 so therefore it's going to be 2 into 0 0.7 this and this is gone so this becomes 9 to the 18 and 18 okay or we do 5 into 2 is 10 10 into 0.7 going to be 7 7 so 7 to is 14 14 into 9 is 126 minus 126 volts going ahead now due to the spherical shell so that's going to be not very difficult uh, but yes the potential at r due to spherical shell we are calculating now only spherical shell is there is going to be equal to k q by 2 and potential at p so now since we know that inside the electric field inside the electric field is going to be zero so therefore whatever is the potential here that same potential is there throughout the 
shell so therefore potential at p is going to be k q by 1 so therefore we can write that potential at r minus potential at p is going to be k which is 9 into 10 to the power 9 into q which is 10 into 10 to the power minus 9 okay 1 by 2 minus 1 gone gone so this is 90 into minus 1 this is minus 45 volts so therefore for the total v r minus v p is equal to minus 126 volts minus 45 volts which is minus 171 volts so this is going to be the answer thank you